I'm Patrick Bailey with IQless.com. Today is March 31st, 2020, and this video I'm going to be showing uh, printing eight Prusa RC3 face shields uh, that stack four high. Now, I already did a couple of videos on Prusa face shields, or procedures and different things like this, uh, so you can go watch those videos for more information. This video is just focusing on printing eight shields at a time, how long it takes, and what kind of things I did that might help other people to, to get it work better. I, I didn't do a whole lot, but I just kind of went over the numbers and the details on here. So here is where you go to the Prusa prints uh, to see what's up there right now. And by the time you watch this video, they might be onto a new version. Right now, they're doing RC3, it might be RC4 or RC5. So pay attention. Over here is the link uh, that actually where you can download these. And then let me go show you how to slice them real quick or how I sliced them. Uh, the nice thing is when you do download them, I would suggest using the 3MF version of the file rather than the STL because those include extra information on how to properly slice it and different things like that. So if I drag that in, let me back up a second. So the 3MF files have more information so like they can set set uh, printer settings and things like that and how to slice and how uh, to slice it which is kind of nice so if i drag this in uh you can see the bed change and i don't really want to have that bed change so i will <clears throat> change it uh to the i3 mark 3 is what i did i think the bed is fine but just it makes me feel better seeing that it's going to fit on my bed uh, i also changed the infill to 30 percent which i don't think matters and also at one point in time, they were talking about uh, perimeters being uh, three, and so I changed it to three. Uh, also, I think this um, messed up a little bit because it should be at uh, 0.3 uh, level. So I'll change it to 0.3, hit yes there. Um, and also, I'm out of PETG, which is the preferred material right now. So I changed it to PLA for my case. So you hit that and slice it. And these are really great. When they print, they come apart pretty well. And I'll show real quickly if this can uh, slice well enough what's going on between layers. If I go down this layer and I draw up, you can see there's that little line right there where they meet. If I go down, it's hard to see, but as I go up, there's dots. See that little dot right there? Let me go down one. Right there, on this layer, are a bunch of little dots. And right here, on this layer, there's nothing but dots. And that's what helps it to pull it apart. So with that, let me go over the numbers real quickly. So to print these eight um, at one time, what I did, because I'm not at Prusa and I don't have my machine tuned as well as what they could probably do, I ran it at 80% just to make sure that it was going to run overnight. So I ran a little bit slower. Um, also, for me, um, do whatever you do to, whatever method you have for making things stick to the bed successfully, use that. So for me, I use a glue stick. So I had to apply a glue stick everywhere because I know that that helps me adhere things really well. So whatever method you use, normally use that because you want to make sure these things stay on overnight. Um, it took, so it, with all that in mind, it took 13 hours and 56 minutes to print. It took 12.6 central electricity, and altogether it weighs 0.372 kilograms. And at $20 per kilogram for a wool roll, that comes out to $7.44 with the material. And so total cost to print this out was $7.57, so roughly $7.50. And that comes out to $0.94 cents per face shield, which is pretty do decent. Um, now, technically, you should get about 20, 21 face shield headbands per roll, per kilogram roll. But because you have that 0.372, um, you have to you can't do three in a row because 0.372 times three is actually more than one kilogram. So at some point you have to swap out if you're going on a fresh roll. So those are the numbers. I just want to get this video out there real quickly and hopefully this helps someone out there to make some decisions. Um, I ran it very successfully at 80% speed. I got all them out and they look clean and really good. So if you're out there, um, happy printing. And I have some PETG coming in and hopefully I can. Try this out in PETG, and I think it'll work really well. So let's get helping those doctors out there right now.